Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about two features in Lightroom that are, from my experience talking to and working with other photographers, not often used, even ignored. But in my opinion, these features, if you utilize them, will help you with your post-processing. Now this first feature I actually don't use, but probably should. I have this image here, it was a RAW file, and I've processed it start to finish. So I consider this image done. But I could be sitting here wondering, well, what would it look like in black and white? Or maybe, what if I make the sky darker, or make the colors more vivid, or something like that? Well, I kind of feel like it's done now though. Well, what I could do is I could create a snapshot of this point in the processing history. Then I could really climb down any rabbit hole I want to and always revert back to this point in history by just reclaiming that snapshot. Now to do it over here on the left panel of the develop module, you'll see snapshots. Just click the little plus sign and you could give it a name and I'm just gonna call this color. This is the one I processed in color and I'll click create. Now it's right there. Now I could say, well, what does it look like in black and white? And I could hit the black and white thing over here then I could go down to the black and white mix and I could like rearrange some of these these things here, you know, whatever. And then I could even say, well, all right, this is my black and white version. I could make another snapshot and I could click the plus sign and I could just P B and W and click create. Now I have this black and white. Now what if I want to go back to the color one? Well, I could just click on the color snapshot and it will revert back to my color settings and I could go back to the black and white just like that and I'm there or let's say I go back to this color one and I say well maybe I made the grass a little bit too yellow so I could pull these down here and maybe I want to make the sky a little darker so I could put in a uh, graduated filter let's say like right here and I could just bring it down a little bit. And then I could say, okay, so I can make another snapshot. And I'll say uh, color version 2. All right. And click create. So snapshots, a very powerful feature in Lightroom that, in my opinion, probably underutilized. Just from my experience uh, working with other photographers. As a matter of fact, a lot of photographers, or at least a few photographers I spoke to, didn't even know how to work this or what it was all about. Well, that's it. Snapshots. Now, the other feature is kind of related. Uh, you've processed an image and you want to maybe go down a few rabbit holes and see what it looks like in some different, uh, with some different processing. And this feature I actually do use and it's virtual copies. Now, if you right click right on the image, and you go down, most of the way down, you can see Create Virtual Copy. And this actually has a keyboard shortcut, although it's not listed here. Uh, it's on a Mac, Command, single quote, or apostrophe. I don't know what that actual little accent key is called. Um, on a PC, it would be Control, single quote, apostrophe, accent key, whatever it's called. And when you do that, what will happen is Lightroom will create a copy of the image. And you can see it's down here in the film strip. And it, you could tell it's a virtual copy because it has the little corner curled up. Now, what it means by being a virtual copy is it didn't create another copy of this raw file on my hard drive. Just in the catalog, it has one um, set of adjustments referencing this raw file. And because Lightroom is totally non-destructive, the raw file isn't being processed. Actually, it just has a set of adjustments that are sitting in the catalog and or in a sidecar file if you have that feature turned on in preferences. When you create the virtual copy, it just makes another set of um, adjustments to reference that same file. So I could come in here now with this virtual copy and again if I want to um, let's say convert it to black and white and then adjust the black and white mix I could do all of that here with with uh, 
this virtual copy as opposed to the color image, which I still have over here. So I could jump back and forth between the two. I could make an unlimited number of virtual copies. So if I want to see what it looks like, let's say in sepia, I could do another virtual copy and make it sepia toned. I, if I want to see what it looks grungy, I could do another virtual copy and do that. So that's really it. Two features that I believe are a little bit underutilized in Lightroom, but if you use either one of them, I think it will really help with your post-processing. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.